All right, I want to do a quick video of uh, how to make these hydroponic towers and show you a couple things that I've learned. Uh, forgive the construction noise in the background, the banging and metal or whatever they're doing back there. But anyways, um, so this is the first one. This is the first one I ever made. Um, basically, you get a four inch piece of drain pipe and then you cut a slit in it, like you can see there. And then you heat it up with a heat gun, which you can see on the ground over there. And then you use something to bend it to shape the, you know, a round object to make your holes. So this is great, but the problem with this is, and what most of the videos show, is using a two inch piece of PVC, which when you heat it up, you stuff it in a hole, you stick it down inside. This isn't warmed up, so it's a little difficult to go in there. Anyways, you get the point. And then what you end up with is this. Down in the pipe, these are all your bends going in. You can see my finger. The problem with this is, doing a back to back, so I did back to back, go down four inches, back to back, four inches, back to back. Well, the problem is, first of all, using a two inch pipe, the outside of the pipe is not two inches. So this is the first one I did and I actually cut it too far. Well, I'll demonstrate down here. So this is another, so this is a two inch net pot and you can see it would just fall into the hole. So this will not work for what I want to do without having an adapter. Now you can do it this way, it's up to you, but I prefer not to. So what you do is you take your PVC pipe and you cut little rings off of it as such using hacksaw, circular saw, whatever you got, however you want to do it. And then you take this and you stick it in the hole because it's the same size as the hole you made, it works well. So you can do it this way and then your net cup sits in there and it's fine, but you're adding $15 to your expense um, for no reason for the pipe. You know, if you're buying it at Home Depot, I think it was about 15 bucks, but anyways, my point is that you have to have these rings and then you have to glue them in. So you have the added expense of the glue and the ring. It's fine if that's what you want to do. However, what I found was I had a two inch piece of curtain rod. This is wood. I measured it and I was like, oh, it's two inches. Let me try that. So I used that instead. And so that's what I've been using on this piece. And it, they just fit right in there. Not only do they fit right in there, let me show you what it looks like on the inside. They don't take up nearly as much space for the, you know, the push out as the other ones do. So I'm not gonna have as much blockage for the water dropping down and, and possibly not hitting the plant because it is a lot more exposed this way of the net cup. So this is, looks to be a much better way. And the other little trick I was gonna do that I thought, you know, these, don't sit in here they, they sit in fine but they don't want to you know they're at an angle i thought well you know they could possibly fall out but i think the, the weight of the plant will hold it but what i was going to do is push them in so they're like this and then make a little line i have a dremel tool and i'm going to cut a little slot here that this lip will stick in and then we'll keep it in place so the, these don't fall out and you don't have to glue it i didn't really want to glue it so let me demonstrate what i'm doing here so um, originally I was going to have a four tower system and the four towers, they were going to be fittings on the bottom and I'm sure you've seen these all over YouTube. You know, you have an elbow that comes off of here and this connects over to another tower and everything is done with pipe. Um, the problem is that a four inch pipe, unless I go up about a foot or so, I'm not going to have much nutrient left in that pipe unless I make a big base and all of those fittings for four inch pipe, for I mean, it's drain pipe, it's, they're cheaper than schedule 40 or schedule 80 pipe, PVC pipe, they're still adding quite a bit of expense. So I decided to do this instead, is take my tower and I'm gonna mount four of them. I'll drill a hole um, and I'll have, I won't have these going through. I'll have a, another piece on the other end and this will just connect into that. And then I'll have 27 gallons of nutrients instead of having like about anywhere from six to 10 doing it the other way. I have a lot more nutrients and then up the middle, I'll have the supply, the, you know, the pump in the bottom and that will pump the water up the top. And then my other issue was, I was concerned about the stability of this because 
just having a pipe sitting inside of here, you know, too much wobble or whatever, and it's going to fall over. Well, this is going to be solved because the ends of these will have the cap on them, and then coming out of here will be the pipe, and that pipe will connect to all four of them, and as well as the center, and that will hold it all stable because the pipe will, there's an end cap that goes on here, and then the pipe will go through that, and the pipe will have holes in it to, you know, supply the water down into the pipe. So anyways, I'll post another video on that later. But uh, I just wanted to show you that, you know, if you're using the 2-inch pipe method, the 2-inch PVC pipe, you know, you're going to have to have these rings or bigger net cups. Uh, either way, more expense for no reason. So if you can find something or make, uh, you know, something that's exactly 2-inch, then you're going to be better off. And so I'm going to demonstrate real quick how I do this. So what I've done is <clears throat> I'm marking... I start at four inches at the bottom and then I go first cut you can see my marks down here that was my line and I make a line across same as these and so the first ones I was doing I was having an issue where they were actually ripping the the PVC was ripping so <clears throat> part of the reason I'm doing this is to give you some tricks that I found uh, on how to do this to to prevent them from ripping so as you can see these are all nice and round there's no rips out the side and the rips out the side are what are causing the leaks for a lot of people so you want to avoid doing that so what I did I'm using this and the reason I'm using it is this little you know a body measuring tape and pick these up for less than a dollar they're really cheap one side has inches the other side has centimeters and I'm using the centimeter side so what I'm doing is I'm measuring the diameter of this so we got five centimeters across I'm adding another millimeter onto that for my measurement so I go down and I make a line down here so I have the center of these so I want these all in a line all aligned and here's my center mark and then from there I just stick this the three in the center and I make a mark, a zero, and I mark it six. Do the same thing, go to the next one, do the same thing. Mark the, you know, three in the center, zero, and six more. And then I take, you, know, you can do this with a hacksaw, you don't have to have this, you know, if, if you don't have a angle grinder you know, with a cutting wheel, it's fine, just use a hacksaw, it doesn't matter. Whatever you have to, to cut this. So you cut it, and now you're left with this. So the next part is, you have to do your bend. So, and this is where your heat gun comes in. <clears throat> and so this is kind of what I wanted to show, which they don't really, you know, there's tons of videos on YouTube, but they don't really show you, number one, how much to cut this, and number two, heating up. You know, each one of these pipes is 25 bucks, so, now granted, this is only half a pipe because it's five foot long. It's been cut, you know, the pipe's been cut in half, but still, it's, you know, 12 bucks. It's not the end of the world, but, you know, why waste money so <clears throat> we're left with this now we have to heat this up so my holes are going to be going this way so when I stick this in it's going to go that way so I cut this at you know about 45 degrees and then this will go in and the reason I have it at 45 is so when it hits the bottom of the pipe you know I know that I'm at the right angle because I want them all to be the same angle roughly so the other thing I want to do is when you look at this, when you're putting the center in, you want to be putting this in at the center mark. By doing that, you're not offset, and by not being offset, you're not you're less likely to rip this. Now, I thought initially, I'm like, oh, I'm going to heat this whole area up so that it's real pliable. Well, that's where I made the mistake on my first one, is you don't want to heat up the sides as much as you want to heat up the center part and the reason for that is is if this is all soft when you're shoving this in there it's going to want to rip so by leaving it a little bit you know less heated than the rest and I'm going to show you right now then it's less likely to rip so this hole is one centimeter wider than this so here we go also you're going to want to have a wet rag because you're going to use that to cool this afterwards so that it maintains its shape just speeds up the process so this is a cheap 
heat gun I got off of Amazon. They have them at Harbor Freight, Amazon, Home Depot, wherever. I think I paid $15 for this 10 years ago. It works fine. Just 12, 1500 watt heat gun and it does the trick. So it does get really hot, so don't touch that in. So you just want to start heating the center of it. You don't want to go out to the outside so much. You want to stay more in the center. And so after about 20, 30 seconds, this is going to start getting soft. And as you're pushing on this, in a second you'll see, you'll be able to feel what's softer and what's not. So, in looking at this, you can see you want it, this is going to be heated up more because you want this to bend versus out here. So you can see where it's curved. So, you just want to push it with your thumb. Obviously, you don't blow the heat gun on it. You can see it's starting to get soft. It doesn't take very long. And you don't want it super super soft you just want to have a, a nice bit of give to it okay it's starting to be real soft okay it's getting good so now i just heat up the outfit just a little bit just so it has a little bit of bend to it okay shut it off get rid of it take your pointed end stick it down in the middle stick it down the hole and then bend it and then and that's it and you want to make sure that you're aligned down the center so that it's sitting properly and once you're good you take your cloth and you stick it on there and you just let it sit for you know 30 seconds a minute whatever and that's it then on to the next one so that's it for this tutorial um i'll show you the other ones once i start building the actual you know setup with the container but this gives you an idea this was like the missing link that of all the videos that i watched that i couldn't you know how big do you make the hole your cut you know what size you know pipe are you going to put in there if you, if you use the two inch pipe you gotta you know and no one says oh well then their hole's too big you know so i just wanted to kind of clarify a few things and like i said this is that was my first pipe and this is my second pipe ever i've never done these before so you know i'm doing another hydroponics over there it's, um, it's growing well but anyways you get the point all right have a good one